Hey guys, it's Michelle here with My Cup of Media behind the sunglasses, but we have a beautiful day out here <laughs> at Lake Eustace and I am with Damien Fields from Coldwell Banker Camelot Realty. Mm -hmm. Did I get all that mouthful in? You got all of that in <laughs> right. Very good. Thanks. So we're just going to sit out here and chat and I want you to tell us a little bit. Um, we were talking a little bit off camera about your expertise mm -hmm. in real estate. So tell us how long have you been in the business and all the good stuff about you. So I've been in the business about three years and I'm just I love real estate. I was a degree accountant before that, and uh, uh, I think I missed my calling there because I <laughs> sat in this in this office. And uh, and now that I'm in real estate, I get to really interact with so many people. Right. Um, and not only do I do that, but I also work with my brokerage and I train other real estate agents. And it's really been amazing seeing their growth, see how how they've grown and their business has grown personally, and just. Growing, knowing that mindset is really what it takes to, to just do good in not only real estate, but in everything. Right. So it's been exciting. Yeah, that's a good point you bring up. You know, you see, you probably see a lot of people, oh, I'm going to go get my real estate license <laughs> and I'm going to make millions. <laughs> so tell me, why does that, why do people fail at that? What, what part are they missing? You know, that's a really interesting question. It's, it's not so much that they fail that they're missing. I think they underestimate the work that's involved. You know, it seems on the surface, and I've had some of my friends be like, oh my gosh, Damon, you're doing all these great things. I want to be a part of that. Um, what they don't see is this takes a lot of work. It takes yeah. a lot of self-discipline because I don't have a boss sitting there going, hey, Damon, you got to punch yeah. in at seven o'clock, you know, and, you know, make sure you get this done or that done. There's nobody sitting there. Um, I could not work today. I could completely not get up and not do anything. Mm -hmm. And um, so it really takes a lot of discipline and um, it, it's, there's an expression in real estate. It's you wake up every day unemployed. Yeah. Every day I wake up unemployed, and I've got to I've got to earn my living and I've got to earn my keep. And then on top of that, uh, the business is difficult. You know, yeah. this is a challenging business because you're dealing with people's lives. This isn't just we're not just selling widgets. We're selling right. the places where we where our families grow up, where our you know where we hang out with our friends, and we're we're selling lifestyles and oh, stuff yeah. and so it's 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 very very difficult because there's a lot of emotions involved but it is so unbelievably gratifying when it works out but it is it's it's, it's a lot of work and that's like you know being an, uh, you know, an entrepreneur of any level you know my mm -hmm. dad owned his own business mm -hmm. and people say oh Ray you've got it made <laughs> you run your own business but what they don't see is you know my dad had several employees well they were his responsibility right. he had to make sure his business was successful mm -hmm. so that he could pay them so they could take care of their That's family right. and that was back in the day where employers paid for your insurance mm -hmm. so they had full insurance and all that kind of stuff and you know they say entrepreneurship is the loneliest job you'll ever have but it, we're it the is. people that we work 80 hours a week for ourselves so we don't have to work 40 for somebody else <laughs> I use 60. It's the only business where we work 60 hours to avoid punching a clock yeah. for 40. I say that all the time. Yeah, yeah. And you know, I yeah, I, I, I don't want to ever have to work for anybody else again. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm my own worst boss, so. I wouldn't trade, wouldn't trade it for the yeah. world. Wouldn't yeah. trade it for the world. So you were telling me your expertise is the water. Yes. So tell me about that. That's I've never heard that. That's unique. So yeah, it's it's everybody has a specialty. You know, some people specialize in, you know, single family homes or this, that, and the other. Well, ever since I was a kid, I've loved the water. Mm -hmm. um, I've loved swimming pools, I've loved lakes, canoes, boats, just anything I could get my hands on. Wow. And uh, a number of years ago, I finally broke down and got a boat. And uh, yeah, they're kind of expensive, but it's just, there's just something about being on the water. On the water. It's just, it, it, it relaxes me. It can take a day where, you know, maybe I've worked eight days in a row, which is not unusual, and I can just get on the water and it just, it just calms me. Yeah. It absolutely calms me. And so, um, I love being on the water. I'm on it as much as I possibly can. And so it was really about a year ago, I'm like, I started really looking at lakefront properties. I'm like, I love the water so much. And I started, I would see listings come on the market. I would actually take my boat and go drive to the oh, listing wow. from the water because I wanted to see where it was, what it right. looked like and stuff. And that's really sort of blossomed for really the past year, year and a half into, um, I'm looking at everything that happens in the Harris chain. The Harris chain is 75,000 acres of lakes. Wow. And that doesn't even include you know, Lake Joanna, East Crooked Lake, and all those, you know, Lake Gertrude, all those other little lakes right. around. And so, you know, I've got systems and processes in place where I'm looking at every single house that's coming on the market that's either on the lake, on a canal, um, when it goes under contract, when it sells, how much it's sold for. And so I really get a good feel for, for what that market looks like. And then when I'm working with clients, I'm able to help them with not only what the value is, 
but the locations on the lake because right. it's not just it's not just being on the lake it's really different being on lake dora versus being on lake griffin lake griffin is absolutely beautiful but if you're having dinner in mount dora and you're on your boat and it's seven o'clock and you go to go back through haynes creek there's a lock in the middle of it you can't get back to your house <laughs> because they're gonna, a problem. they're gonna close it down and you're gonna be sleeping on the boat for the night so the location makes a big deal i actually have a deal under contract right now over there on the west shore right there behind us and it's a really cool i was talking with the owner it's such a great location because it's right near the dora canal it's right near the dead river and so it's centrally located oh, wow. wherever you want to go and so there's a lot more to specializing in the lakes than just hey i really like houses on the lakes because it's pretty right. you know there's a lot of economics there's location there's geography it's, it's just a fascinating thing and i'm and i suppose too like the homes themselves there's a different is there a different like upkeep and stuff be with being on a lake, being on any kind of water? There is, there is. There's a number of little wood birds come around. <laughs> there's, there's actually a, a number of factors. Um, people always took look at uh, flood zones and stuff like that. Pretty much anything on the water is in a flood zone. Yeah. So there's insurance ramifications. Uh, in this area, we have a lot of uh, mobile homes that are sitting on the water, and the ground is softer. The ground right. is softer by the water, and so understanding the compaction of the ground matter of fact uh just recently i've worked with a client and had his home re-leveled because just over the last 20 years the home just settled a little bit people think it's a really big deal it's it's really not if you know the right people but yeah there's certain there's certain considerations whether you have a seawall or whether you right. don't um you know there's a lot of alligators and they're a great a addition to this thing and so some people are really worried about them because of their dogs mm -hmm. and so it's important that they have a seawall versus just a ramp where the right. gators like to come up in sun so there's definitely a lot of considerations from from insurance standpoint from a property standpoint and uh and yeah it's just it, it definitely makes a difference one thing we got educated on you know we moved down from michigan about nine and a half years ago and people come down and visit us they're like well why, why can you swim in that <laughs> and the person is no so explain to people who don't live here <laughs> that question why you don't want to swim in these lakes. Well, I'm actually going to, I think, go the other way. Um, I, Rebel. People, I know, I know, I can't help it. I love the water, I really, really do. Um, so the, the marketing and stuff that I do, I work with a lot of people from coming out of town. Uh, New York, Michigan, I'm working with a guy, that house over there, he's from North Carolina. And they always ask the same question, is there gators? Well, yeah, if there's water, there's gators. They're fine, don't worry, they're totally fine. <laughs> they're not um, gonna come eat you. <laughs> they're not gonna come eat you, I promise. You know, and they're like, well, well, can you swim in the water? Well, well, absolutely, you can swim in the water. You know, it's it's clean. As a matter of fact, the Lake County Water Authority is doing an amazing job cleaning these lakes up over the last 15 years. The water is, is clean to swim in. We have a good time. There's actually a spot. I'm going to point that way, even though you can't see where my <laughs> hand is. There's a spot that way uh, on Lake Dora where it's relatively shallow. We call it the sandbar. And on a nice summer day, you know, there'll be 10, 15, 18 boats just tied up and everybody's sitting in the water, really? having fun with their friends and stuff. Um, you'll see, you'll see people. I've got a friend again over there on the West Shore. He water skis every single day. Um, take the boat out. You take the kids tubing and whatnot. Right. So, um, you know, it's different than the lakes that are that are like up in North Georgia and Tennessee, where they're crystal clear. You know, these lakes are a little different than that. Right. Um, but they're actually they're fantastic swimming lakes. They're they're a little cold right now. I don't know if I would want to be in that water right now. I'm not gonna test it out. I'll <laughs> tell you that. <laughs> it's a little cold. But no, I mean, we, we swim in it regularly. I do I do take my children out on the boat, and uh, they're all teenagers now. They're not really children anymore. But uh, And yeah, we swim we swim on a regular basis uh, in the summertime, though. Not the winter time. It's too cold. <laughs> That's cool. So tell everybody, where, where can they get a hold of you when they're looking for that perfect piece of property? They want more information about living on, on the water. Mm -hmm. How can they get a hold of you? So the best way to get a hold of me is really just to call my cell phone. Uh, the number is 352-978-4569. Uh, I always repeat it, so it's a thing. 352-978-4569. And really, they can just call me. Uh, I'm a full-time agent. Uh, I don't do this part-time. This isn't a hobby. Uh, like you said earlier, this is a 60, 70 hour a week right. thing for me. Uh, as a matter of fact, today's Monday and I actually spent all day yesterday and all day Saturday working. So I don't always work every day of the week, but for the most part, I'm always available mornings, noons, and nights. So really the best way to get a hold of me is just to call, you know, Excellent. call me on my cell phone. Well, we'll be sure to put um, all his contact information above and below and wherever it's going to be at. So any final closing words that you'd like to share with everybody? 
Sure, I, Michelle, I want to really, really thank you oh, for having this me here. This has been I, so fun I really doing this. I really appreciate it I a lot. I love doing this. This has been great, and it's beautiful. I wanted to do the lake. We weren't going to, but I'm like, we got to do the lake. <laughs> um, so one thing I will say is, you know, there's so much more to real estate than just buying and selling houses. You know, really, really what I like to do is I'm just I'm just here to help. You know, if we don't buy a house today, that's fine. I've got clients I've worked with for a year, a year and a half, two years. Um, I really just kind of like to be a resource and just being from out of town. I'm kind of a local tour guy. Right. I love the local restaurants. I'm such a huge yeah, fan. You know, great we've got we've got Tilly's here in Eustace, which is amazing. I love Frog and Monkey down in Mount Dora and I love just sharing that with people and getting the chance to let them see what's around and what's in the area. So really, I think if there was anything to share is if there's anything I could do to help, even if you just had a question, even if you're working with another agent, I respect all the agents in the market and I think you should, but if you're looking for just a second opinion, like, hey, is this right? Is this what should be happening? 99% of the time, these agents in this market are so, so professional, but sometimes you're just, you're right. just not sure and you have questions, but so really just anything that I can do to help, um, I am 100% happy to do it. Uh, I'm just here to help. I love being a part of the, the Eustace Chamber. Oh, here the Eustace Chamber is amazing. They've been isn't fantastic. It? They and are it's doing been, a wonderful it's job. It's been so great just being a part of the community and just seeing how we can help the community. Yeah, so that's the, what the I like networking. To say. I did a quick little video yesterday mm -hmm. and it was all about, you know, get, get out, get involved in your community because yeah. it makes such a difference. Absolutely. So that's all we have for today. You need to get a hold of this guy. Um, we'll put all this information in there. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate and it. We'll chat soon. Thank you. Bye bye.